what is up guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be reacting to family guy darkest humor moment yes everyone i love family guy it's actually crazy how much i watch family guy now just because of the like cancelable movements in the show bring back cancellation actually don't bring back cancellation i'm cancelled i don't know what i'm saying but we're going to be reacting to family guy right now yeah it's going to be a try not to laugh if i if i if i if i laugh you guys can just comment down below what punishment i can do and i'll do it like, for example go for a the fucking c or something it's cold by the way it's cold but anyways let's get into it right now and see what we have you should see this your dishwasher cartoon has really outraged the online community what gosh it's not like the internet to go crazy about something small and stupid Peter, you have to apologize. What, because of a joke? Not just a joke, Peter. A joke that angered some bloggers. <sighs> well, I guess this ain't the first time I got in trouble for something I said about a woman. <laughs> Is that, that's not a lie. Oh, good. We can steal. Okay, okay, Bruh. okay. okay here, wait, here's another one. Why do women have boobs? So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, Peter. Uh, but they're four, we're all good. right. We're good. Are you telling jokes? I love jokes. Oh, all right. Then you'll love this one. Oh, no. Okay. Time and place, Peter. Time and place. Why do women have boobs? So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> so you got something <laughs> to look at while you're talking to Come them. Come on, I ain't <laughs> mad as well, Come on. So you got... You, you, uh, you wanted to see me, Mr. Mr. Weed? Weed? Your comic in this morning's paper is really offensive. <laughs> oh my god. No, nah, that is mad. That, 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 that's that's crazy, bro. <laughs> oh shit. Well, that's one last. <laughs> that's not funny, Peter. Ah, you're just not getting it, Lois. See, his wife washed dishes for him. Oh, for Pete's sake. Ah, there you go. And now, the History Channel presents American Inventor, the true story of Henry Ford. This is my Jew flattening machine. It'll flatten any Jew. Simply climb behind the wheel, drive it towards a Jew, and flatten him. Could he also use it just to drive from place to place and stuff? It, it's a Jew flattening machine. It, it's not what it's designed for. But you could use it that way. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could also use the Mona Lisa as a placemat. God. Well, I have to get to work, Chris. I have tons and tons of dogs to incinerate, but I can't wait to see you tomorrow night. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I'll clean that up. Oh, uh, that's okay. I'll get it. Have fun at work. Okay. Bye, Chris. What do you think you're doing? What? You, a man, are cleaning up a mess made by Anna, a woman, that she, also a woman, spilled on you, a man. So? You're treating her like a human being. Oh if you want to get anywhere with a chick, you can't treat him too nice-like. Really? Trust me, Chris. The next time you see this girl, that treat her like mental, crap. Bro. And you'll be cooler than a mid-80s novelty answering machine message. I don't know. I did everything Dad said. Ugh, I should have known Peter had something to do with this. You're not the first person whose life he screwed up. Knock, knock. Nicole, Ronald, who's ready for Boggle? Oh, my God! No! Why? Why? My beautiful Nicole! My man Ronald, who did this? Oh, man, they were so good together. We were just establishing our friendship. They were about to get engaged. Oh, he was going to ask me to be an usher. I mean, he already had enough groomsmen, so he made me an usher. But just to think I could be involved in the ceremony in any way. Um, I have a question. I went on a date with this girl that I really like, and if you don't mind, I was hoping I could ask you a few questions about the birds and the bees. Ah, my boy wants to know about sex. Came to the right place. Chris, what you always want to remember is that sex is perfectly natural. Well, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Swanson, um, I wasn't really talking to you. Chris, I know a lot about sex. Yeah, and I'm sure you have fond memories, but I was kind of hoping to get some advice from someone who isn't broken from the waist down. I'm a father! You're a two-wheeled monster! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No. <laughs> no, that is actually mental, bro. He's so sweet. He's like one of the better That's guys That's gonna be my ringtone. Quagmire, call me. <laughs> 
And they are horrible people, man. Chris, camp is only as fun as you make it. That's how it was in World War II. Don't suppose it was... <laughs> no, I don't know why I laughed like that. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have laughed like that. Would help to say I have a note from my doctor. <laughs> Get in there, you. Women, we have spent decades fighting for our right to vote. So when you go to those booths and cast your ballot, remember, Warren G. Harding is way the cutest! <laughs> we need to start taking responsibility for his health. So I decided to sign him up for fat camp. What? Mom, I don't want to go to fat camp. I'm sorry, sweetie. It's for your own good. And Bro, I wish I could have gone to fat camp, bro, like back in the day. I was one chunky motherfucker, bro. Trust me, you'll feel much better about yourself. Everyone's gonna make fun of me! Oh, come on, who's gonna make fun of you? Hey, fatty, I hear you're going to fat camp. That's where you belong. Peter, stop it. And I better not see you at the big dance. Come on, you. Sorry, Chris. I I'm gonna go with him. <laughs> Tom Hanks, that's it. Oh shit, that's a laugh. Ah, oh, funny guy, Tom Hanks. Everything he says is a stitch. I have AIDS. <laughs> Stewie, did Mr. Jackson behave inappropriately toward you? Well, yes, but the worst part was he never called back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, in all seriousness, yeah, he was actually pretty aggressive. Mom, can we go back to the vet and see the pretty vet assistant again? Well, I guess if Brian gets sick again. Oh, boy! Hey, Brian, look! <laughs> We're good. Brian's sick! Mom, get your keys! Serious, your friends are terrorists. Think about it. They're they're meeting in secret. They're creating cover stories. Oh my god, you're right! See, I told you my mood was bad news. Those guys are all bad news. Uh, hang on there, Quagmire. Just because these few guys are terrorists doesn't mean all Muslims are. Every ethnic group has their nut jobs. We have the Unabomber, Timothy McVeigh, and even that fat guy at the Atlanta Olympics who didn't do it, but he looked mean, so we said he did. Joe, you don't get to talk about the regular Olympics. You just called. <laughs> That's actually mental. No, that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. I mean, I, I, I thought that was your name. That is our word. You've got no right using it. Hey, 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 I'm cool. I'm cool. No problem. Could, could you pass me the or N word, Jim? Thank you. This time we really have to do it. Uh, okay. I... Yo, it's my boy Hitler right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Two. <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah. uh. You are myself and you're not going to you suck you suck you suck hey guys what football team should i like mahmood says we all need to act like we're fans of american football so we seem less suspicious what what are you talking about i'm talking about mahmood you know i actually feel really bad for him do you know he knew 19 guys who died on 9 11 i mean what are the odds peter i think you joined a terrorist sleeper cell what that's crazy Look, I'm gonna call Mahmood right now on this cell phone he gave me. He'll tell you. Nah, it's gonna blow up as I'm said. Damn phone's busted. Maybe I dialed wrong. Peter, please stop trying to call Mahmood. <laughs> oh, I think that's me. Hello? <laughs> hey, hey, Peter, it's Quagmire. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Guess what? Last night I had sex with a black chick. Uh, uh, I, I, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What? All he said was black chick. Yeah, I know, but your boyfriend looks like one of your typical angry black guys, and I, I didn't want to offend him. Hey, we cool, G? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Who is this man? Why would you bring him here? Do not worry. This is Peter. Nah, bro, they've done the nose is so dirty. He yo. believes in our cause. How can you be sure? Give him the test. Who is better, Hulk Hogan or the Iron Sheik? Um, the Iron Sheik? Okay, he is one of us. I told you, look at him. He is the perfect man to help us blow up the Quahog Bridge. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Everybody down! <laughs> so are these toys just like to take? Peter, where are you going and why are you dressed like that? Well, Lois, I happen to be a Muslim now, which means I'll be spending a lot of my time in mostly empty cafes watching soccer on an 8-inch black and white TV. Yes, the team I like is kicking it. Oh no, the team I don't like is kicking it. Yes, the team I like is kicking it again. I will celebrate with finger symbols. <laughs> uh, 
Hey, is that for real, that, that diarrhea-only sign on your bathroom? Post-9-11 racism talking. I, for one, think it's great that Peter has enough of an open mind to have a Muslim friend. You know, a lot of dogs just sit outside, tied to poles. Look, Mahmoud's my friend, okay? So he's Muslim. Every culture has its quirks. Italian guys talk with their hands a lot. Irish guys drink a lot. Black guys change their shirts while they tell you a story. So how's Bernadette? She's all right. She's taking interior design classes down at the community college. I mean, she's good at haircutting and everything. They gave her the chair right by the door. But I guess now she wants to hang plates on the wall or whatever. And you know she gained a weight back from the lap band, right? That Bernadette in her pie. You know it, brother. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this steak in the bathroom. Thanks for getting dinner, man. So, I see you graduated number one in your class from Princeton. That's right. And I'm certified as an accountant and also have a law degree. That's all very impressive. We'll keep you in mind. Let's see. Pointy boobs. No. <laughs> no, that's actually crazy. Medium pointy boobs. Not so pointy boobs. That's a shame. Excuse me. Now that your family is gone, would you mind if we turn on the TV? Oh, hey. I didn't know anyone was here. I, uh... I was just kidding when I told my family I loved them. He even brought Callista Flockhart with him. Uh, Peter, I think that's just a piece of paper. Good, because she looks fat. Get in the car. What? Why? You'll see. Why should I trust you? You're always tricking me into going places I don't want to. Oh, you said we were going to a place Walt Disney built. No, Peter, I said supported. <laughs> By the way, don't go on the train ride. <laughs> no, sorry, no, no. Mr. Griffin, do you really think this Come is on, an appropriate cartoon deep. to run it on Gloria Steinem's half birthday? You sound angry. Did one of your friends get engaged? You have no idea how offensive you are to women, do you? What? I love women. I bet I can name more porn stars than you. But but don't tell my wife how many porn stars I know. I'll get in a lot of trouble. I know all of them, though. There are people who just started an hour ago, and I know them. Bruh. That is actually mental. I don't know if I said mental like that, but it is mental. And uh, if you guys like this video, I suggest you check out this video or this video. You're getting two options here, so you can choose. No one else does that but me, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Nice. Bye.